Good morning, Revivers, and welcome to our Baptism Sunday service. If this is your first time visiting for in-person service or on our Facebook Live, Pastor Paul, Lady Shannon, and the RCMI family welcomes you and thank you for joining us today. RCMI family, these are your announcements for the week of December 11th, 2022. Today, we will be a blessing to Pastor Paul and Lady Shannon. If you would like to bless them, you can do so by cash apping to dollar sign POM316. Thanks for your blessings. We want everyone to join us for our Christmas Eve service of Savior is Born, Saturday, December 24th at 7 p.m. And our New Year's Eve worship service, Saturday, December 31st at 10 p.m. There will be no Sunday services following, so you don't want to miss both of those Eve services. Our children and youth are dismissed after announcements to go into the Super Church as we get ready for our Christmas Eve service. The Evangelistic Outreach Ministry will be having their 7th annual Christmas giveaway presentation on Sunday, December 18th at the 11 a.m. service. We will be blessing three families and a special presentation for Pastor Joe Burton's wife, Shonda. There will be a wish list on the outreach table in the back of the fellowship hall. Please see Elder Belinda for more information. Beloved Hands, started by Mariah Henderson, is having its fifth annual blanket drive. From December 1st to January 1st, we'll be collecting blankets to be given to homeless during the cold season. There will be a bin in the hall so that you can drop them off. Thanks for your support. Grief to Grace Support Group, under the leadership of Carmen Jackson, is inviting you to attend their Christmas gathering in remembrance of our loved ones. On Tuesday, December 13th, at Revival Center at 6 p.m., the gathering will be located in the Super Church and refreshments will be served. We hope to see you there. Miss Betty's Kitchen will be offering a new change in their menu. Starting Saturday, December 3rd, they will offer breakfast on Saturdays only from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Dine in or take out. Come and get a home-cooked breakfast that includes bacon, turkey bacon and patties, Polish sausage with onions and peppers, fried potatoes, scrambled eggs, buttery grits, coffee and tea products. Come out and have a delicious breakfast served with love. Our business highlight of the week is Sister Sharita Persons. Sharita owns a company named Aging with Love. She is a non-medical home health company that provides care to whomever may need help. Her goal is to relieve caregivers for a little self-restore. By trade, she has been an occupational therapist assistant for 13 years while working in various settings. She has gained several certifications over the years, and her favorites are dementia care specialists dealing with the geriatric community and lymphedema, which is swelling in the body. She wanted to have her own company and work by her rules because she didn't like seeing the way others were being taken care of. If you would like more information, please visit her table in the back of the fellowship hall or call her at Aging with Love at 937-304-3948. There are several ways to give. If you would like to give by Cash App, use the Cash App name dollar sign R-E-V-C-E-N-M-I-N. You can also use your credit cards to swipe, so you do not need to write your numbers on the envelopes. The finance team will be available before and after services to pay your giving using your credit cards. You still can give online as well. And thank you for your continued financial support for the ministry. We leave you with these words to think on. Great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance.